Hey there, y'all. Prophet David Taylor here. Hello to my Facebook audience and hello to my nothing. Okay? It's all God gives us the prophetic word through the mouth of the prophets. So we can hear a rhema word, so we can hear a fresh breathe word of God, so we can hear the word of the Lord right now to locate us in the spirit, to let us know what God is thinking and saying and how he's moving right now. And that's going to be critical in the days to come. Okay? So as always, I prayed before I came on and asked Holy Spirit what it was he wanted me to say. <clears throat> and the word today is launch. L-A-U-N-C-H. Launch. Now, I know last week we talked about rest. Some of you that didn't tune in last week, you need to go back and look at the tape, the, yeah, the video from last week. Because we talked about rest. Rest is not sleeping. The rest that God is talking about is not talking about sleeping. It's not talking about uh, sitting down and doing nothing. That's not what rest means in the scriptures. And that's not what rest means when God talks about entering into his rest. But I went over that last week. Uh, that'll help you understand this message a little bit better. Because today we're going to talk about launching. It's time for God's people to launch. It's time for those that have ears to hear. Those that are in tune with the spirit those that are in step with what God's doing, to launch. What does that mean? That means that if you're, hey there, that means that if you are, if you've been waiting to write that book, now's the time. Now's the time to get it done. If you've been waiting on the green light from God to start that business, now's the time. If you've been praying for a spouse and you've prepared yourself to be married, now's the time to actively seek a spouse. If you have been called to ministry and you prepared yourself and you've gone through the process and you've let the Lord work on you and you've let the Lord prune you and you've let the Lord get you to where he wants you to be, now's the time to jump out there and get started. <clears throat> now, I already know what many of you are going to say. Many of you are going to say, I'm not perfect. Many of you are going to say, but I'm going to make mistakes. Many of you are going to say, but I don't know everything I need to know. That's okay. Launch anyway. Okay? You are never going to come to a point in, in your life where you are perfect. You are never going to come to a point in your life where you won't make mistakes. You are never going to come to a point in your life where you know everything that there is to know. That's not the point of God's call. That's not the point of what the Spirit of God is saying to us now. The point is that God is telling us to launch. So it's time to launch, it's time to go with no further delay. <clears throat> it's time for you to move forward and launch that project. If it's going back to school, it's time to go back to school. If it's learning a musical instrument, some of you might be picking up a musical instrument that you put down a long time ago. That's all right. A whole lot of people start playing and singing at a certain level, and then they get better as they go. Mm -hmm. That's right. I know you feel like you have to have everything mastered. I know you feel like you have to know everything. I know you feel like you have to have your doctorate in your subject, but you don't. You launch with what you have. Don't you know that is why so many people never give birth to their dreams? That is why so many people never, ever move forward, because they refuse to launch. They refuse to jump on out there, get their content in front of people, get their ministry in front of people, get themselves in front of people, and let the chips fall where they may. Well, you say, well, they're going to talk about me, but they going to talk about you anyway. It doesn't matter how well put together you are or not. Folks going to talk about you. It doesn't matter how well you present or not. People going to talk about you. You can't, you're never going to get to the, they're not going to talk about me zone. Okay, that doesn't exist. Okay, and so I'm speaking to those of you that have been sitting there full of worry and fear and trepidation, feeling like, you know, things have to go perfectly. No, no, they don't. Get on out there. Okay, preach that sermon, write that book, start that business. If you're meant to be an athlete, go to those tryouts. If you're already on a team, keep working hard so you can become a starter. Uh, our guest preacher, Sophia Ruffin, preached about that this morning. Um, whatever it is that has been in your heart to do, it's time to do it right now. 
Okay? Now, the reason that's so important is because you can't start doing it six months from now. If God is telling you to move now, that doesn't mean you're supposed to wait till June to move. If he's telling you to move now, you've got to move right now. If you fool around and let another month pass, and it's January 1st, and you didn't get done what you needed to get done in December, you're going to be out of sync. If you fool around and wait until March before you launch, when the Lord is telling you to launch now, you're going to be out of sync. There are things that God has for you every day for the next 30 days. There are things that God has have for you to do that must be done before years end as you get on out there. So you've heard me talk about it now for quite some time that you have to stay in step and in sync with the Holy Spirit. You have to get into precision obedience. You have to do what the Lord says when the Lord says the way he says it. Okay? So I came by to alert you, to encourage you, to exhort you, and to, excuse me, and to warn those of you that have hardness of heart. If you turn your back on the voice of the Lord now, you might die early. People are out here dropping like flies. If you tell God no this time, it might be at the cost of your life. If you tell God um, he's, he's not going to get any glory out of your life, if you tell God that no matter how many chances he, give, he gives you, no matter how much time he gives you, you're not going to do it, you might drop dead and go home early. Okay? So that's why I'm trying to warn those of you uh, that are on the fence, do not have a hard heart. Do not harden your heart. When you hear the voice of the Lord, if God is telling you to move now, then move right now. If you're still broken, if you're not all the way healed, if you're not 100 percent, whatever it is that you are, go anyway, because now is the time. I remember hearing Bishop T.D. Jakes talks about uh, talk about I think he wrote one book. Uh, it was his wife, First Lady Sarita Jakes. She wrote a book and she had to go on a book tour in a wheelchair. And she did that book tour in a wheelchair. She launched. OK, even though she herself was in a wheelchair, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you're still broken, if you're still recovering, if you're still healing, wherever it is that you are, if you feel the spirit of God dropping in your spirit that it's time to launch right now, then do not wait. Get on out there with whatever you got working. If you got 10 fingers and two of them are, two of them are broke, get on out there with them eight fingers that are working and do what you're going to do. OK. <clears throat> So uh, I'm going to release this prophetic word, and then we're going to say a prophetic uh, prayer to close this out. And then I'm going to talk to you some more about my music ministry. All right. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, my children, you are the apple of my eye. You are my beloved. You are my bride, my wife. You are the ones that I died for. And I long to give you my best. I long for you to become all that I created you to be. But you cannot just accept me as Savior. You must also accept me as Lord. Stay in step with me. Stay in sync with me. For when you rebel against me, and when you don't do what I tell you to do, you are bones out of joint. And you'll never be able to, able to move forward, but you will cause me and yourself pain. But if you are obedient and in place, doing what you're supposed to do, as we move forward, I will begin to open doors for you, doors that you cannot see now. For it will be a walk by faith and not by sight. And even people that don't like you will bless you. And even people that have never heard of you will bless you. And even people that you've never encountered before. And even people that unexpected places. People that are in unexpected places will bless you. And open up their treasures and help you. Because you're moving forward by faith. As I commanded you this day. Says the spirit of the living God. Amen. And thank God for that prophetic word. Okay, so the Lord is telling us it's time to launch, it's time to move forward. Whatever you got, whatever you don't got, whatever you are, whoever you are, and whoever you are not, it's time to go. And he'll make a way if you go. All right? So that's our prophetic word this week. Uh, a short word, but an effective word, a powerful one, and one that's uh, right on time in my life. I'll explain that to you in a minute. Uh, let's pr uh, pray a, a quick closing prayer so we can seal that word with prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you just thanking you for your prophetic word about launching, about moving forward, about staying in step and staying in sync. Oh, God, we thank you for 
uh, giving us another opportunity. We thank you for bringing us to the close of a year, but to the beginning of our launching season, oh God. We ask you to give us the courage, give us the grace, and give us the wisdom to move forward in a way that would be in sync with you. And give us the ears to hear, oh God, so we can hear your voice. Turn when you say turn. Stop when you say stop. Listen when you say listen. And do what you say do when you say do it, the way you say to do it. Oh God, that we might have victory, prosperity, and good success. Because we know that's what you created us for. And we know that's what you died to give us. And we know that's what glorifies you when we bear much fruit. And we thank you for it. We believe you for it. We seal that prayer. And we seal that prophecy in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, and on my anointing and authority as a prophet. I seal it. I stand against all backlash and retaliation from the devil. And in the name of Jesus, we release the anointing to launch. In the name of Jesus, we release the anointing on God's people. The anointing to launch is released upon those of you that are watching this broadcast. In the name of Jesus, the anointing to launch, you'll feel it. You'll feel that flow. You'll feel it coming to your spirit as you watch the broadcast. You'll feel the anointing begin, yes, to settle in your spirit. And you are empowered by the Spirit of God. You are empowered in the name of Jesus to launch and to go forward and to obey the voice of your God without fear. And in Jesus' name, we pray and we believe it. Amen. Amen and amen. That was powerful. Praise God. And that was an encouragement to me. I hope that was an encouragement to you. All right. Well, today, as I told you, is the launching of my music ministry. And so uh, for my Facebook audience, that's going to be on a different page. That's going to be Prophet David Taylor and Shades of the Cross. So I'm going to be on that page at 3 o'clock. For my Periscope audience, I'm just going to open up a new Periscope. It's still going to be on Periscope and Twitter because that's the same. So I'm just going to start a new session at 3 o'clock. But that's going to be the launching of my music ministry. I'm going to explain to you what it is. We're going to do some listening. I'm going to talk about the video. So I'll explain all that when we get there. So that's going to start today at 3 o'clock. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for uh, your prayers and your support. God bless you. I uh, hope you have a good week. Uh, Godspeed and God be with you as you launch forward. God bless. And for those of you that are going to check out our music ministry, I will see you soon.